Thank you, sir. It's one of those moments. So let me uh, first uh, give my deepest sympathies to Len, to Jonathan, to Hayne, his family, and all their friends. And it is with a profound sense of loss that we gather here today to celebrate the life of Joe Way. Joe was a magnificent man. He exemplified, in my view, the best of humankind. Through each of his projects, we see a glimpse of Joe's beautiful character. In helping to stop the bulldozers in Loveland, South Dakota for a freeway, Joe helped preserve the oldest residential neighborhood in British Columbia. And that has come to define the essence of our community, a community that always fight for what we believe in. With the construction of the Dr. Samuel Sen Gardens, the first authentic, full-size, Ming Dynasty garden constructed outside of China. An incredible oasis in the middle of a very, very busy intersection in Chinatown and the downtown east side. We see the strength and the elegance of Joe Wei, a person who dared to dream the impossible, who persevered and brought beauty and history to our community. With history and traditions, we can define our identity. Not only was Joe's love and respect for history and traditions reflected in the magnificent Millennium Gate, by his placement in marking the entrance of Chinatown, he has helped us make a bold statement that define the identity of our community. And what of the complexity of Joe's quiet inner strength? It is perhaps best exemplified by the Han Dynasty Bell. It sits quietly in Chinatown Heritage Alley, a piece that is immersed with meaning and it marks the location of the Chinese settlement in the Lower Mainland. With Joe Wei's specials, it was mentioned by Mike Harcourt, it embodied Joe's ability to find solutions to meet the needs of the people in the community, the desire to have affordable housing with increased density while preserving the character of the existing neighborhood. Joe's generosity in spirit and his depth of knowledge was best captured by the Chinese Cultural Center Museum and Archive, for the center's goal is to chronicle the history of the Chinese people in Canada and to share its cultural and historical knowledge with the larger community in future generations. And finally, to me, the hallmark of Joe Wei is embodied in many, many housing projects that he has helped build in our community. They are simple and they are practical. Each is clear in its purpose, and that is to honor humanity by giving a place of warmth, a sense of belonging, a safe refuge, that appreciates and respects each other. These projects speak to the identity and the quality to me is the essence of Joe Wei, for he carried with him, with incredible humility and a deep sense of caring for the people. I was so very lucky to have known Joe, who have benefited from his wisdom, his incredible advice, and to have received his deep encouragement and support over the entire course of my career. And it is my honor to submit a letter in support of Joe to receive the AIBC Lifetime Achievement Award. And I was so, so thrilled that he won that recognition. Our community has been blessed by the presence of Joe Wei. This province's oldest residential neighborhood exists and vignettes of the history of Vancouver's Chinatown is enriched and preserved because of Joe Wei's convictions. In his last effort, by attending the city's open house for 105 Kiefer, it speaks to the hope that he had in his heart. The desire to continue to chart a path that honors our history and traditions was as strong as ever. Let his effort not be in vain. Thank you, Joe. You'll always, always be with us. <laughs>